The Indian coastline of more than 7,000 kilometers is dotted with a mosaic of ecosystems. The coastal and marine ecosystems provide millions their livelihoods and support many an industry. Such direct and indirect dependencies on these ecosystems puts nature under undue stress. India is a signatory to the Convention on Biological Diversity. Conserving its natural resource, which includes coastal and marine ecosystems, is a national priority for the Government of India. The Government of India and Germany have fostered a partnership for the implementation of dedicated programs aimed at preserving India's biodiversity in line with the objectives of the Convention of Biological Diversity, CBD. The project, titled Conservation and Sustainable Management of Coastal and Marine Protected Areas, is one of the flagship projects of the Indo-German Technical Cooperation and is commissioned by the German Federal Ministry for the Environment, Nature Conservation, Building and Nuclear Safety. The project's approach is people-centered. The project is implemented by the Ministry of Environment, Forest and Climate Change, Government of India and German International Cooperation, GIZ. We have not only mapped the entire coastline by using satellite uh, and aerial images, we have also designated some sensitive zones along the coast which we uh, are protecting. We are taking measures to increase uh, mangrove there, we are taking measures to protect the sea life and the marine life there and the collaboration that we have with the, the Germans, specifically this direction where interpretation centers are being set up for uh, depicting marine life, for uh, explaining to the people the rich wealth that uh, marine life has. So the aim of the CBD, the Convention for Biological Diversity and its 193 member states is to significantly reduce the loss of biodiversity by 2020. This is a real ambitious goal. And that's why we are here. We like to support India and our partner ministries in their efforts to implement the National Action Plan and to fulfill their international commitments. Nestled in the suburbs of Mumbai's urban jungle is the Thane Creek. The concerted efforts of the Mangrove Cell, Government of Maharashtra and GIZ are directed towards ensuring that mangroves are cherished as sentinels of Mumbai's shoreline. Honoring this international commitment India has uh, signed an agreement with the GIZ for implementing the coastal and uh, marine protected area network in the country. And as part of that, uh, we are implementing uh, this project in Maharashtra in three sites, in Thane Creek and uh, two more sites in uh, Ratnagiri district. Decades of industrialization and urbanization has polluted the Thane Creek. The CMPA project aims to put appropriate measures in place that go a long way to conserve this fragile and important ecosystem. Nowadays the major issues that we have to look into is how to conserve a viable ecosystem along the coast and in the same time ensure that people can have a livelihood along the coast. The government of Maharashtra issued a notification and notified the northern area of Thane Creek between Airoli and Vashi bridges as Flamingo Sanctuary in the year 2015. So the CMPA project has altogether three major components. We work together with state uh, governments in the uh, states of Maharashtra, Gujarat, Goa and Tamil Nadu to implement projects where we involve people in the conservation of local coastal resources. The CMPA project, through the various studies it has undertaken, supports the mangrove cell in developing a scientific management plan for the sanctuary. An interpretation centre with state-of-the-art facilities is also being set up at Airoli in order to sensitise and raise awareness amongst the general public about the rich natural wealth of Thane Creek. One of the key tools in this effort is strengthening of human capacities. 
the CMPA project has developed strategic partnerships with Indian institutions for training current and future forest department officials. Second level where we are addressing is looking at the cross-sector networks and cross-sector cooperation. Here we try to bring forest fisheries and media experts together at a common platform where they can have their knowledge sharing. The third dimension that we are focusing on is looking at into the sustainability aspect that how our capacity development efforts will sustain forever. For that, we work with the premier training institutions in forest, fisheries and media sectors and from our project we are facilitating that how these institutions can integrate coastal and marine curriculum into their mainstream curriculum. The impact of measures undertaken for community participation can be seen in Velas, a village near Ratnagiri. Each year, a turtle festival is hosted, jointly organized by the community, the local NGO Sayadri Nisargamitra and supported by GIZ. The idea was to introduce the species of this turtle to villagers and tourists who come from outside and educate them of the importance of coexistence of this species. The festival sees newly born, highly endangered sea turtle hatchlings released into the ocean. The female turtle leaves after laying her eggs. We take the eggs and find a safer place for them so that other animals do not break or eat the eggs. Homestays and a turtle interpretation center set up by the NGO near Velas Beach also informs residents and visitors about the species and life cycle of the turtles. On one side, you know, we are cutting down the forest uh, to, you know, groom the industries. And on the other side, the villagers are doing extremely good job to conserve, uh, to do the major conservation projects like this olive red green turtle. And I hope to kind of spread this message that uh, uh, just by sharing something that uh, small groups in India are doing, we can you know, provide support. And the cause is simple, to tell people that biodiversity is not just about saving livelihoods, it is often about saving lives.